All right, welcome back everyone. So for the first time in a very long time, we're back here in the PHL 17 kitchen and who better to help us get it up and running again than this guy right here. So when you hear your name, Mike Missinelli, of course, you think Philly sports, but this morning actually Mike's going to be taking off the ball cap. He put on the ca kitchen apron uh, and he's ready to get to go, get to work here. So Mike Missinelli, normally from 97.5, the fanatic. Love to have you here. Thanks for joining us once again. Well, this is uh, an exhi exhibit of how sports guys can also cook, Nick. Yeah. So any guy out there, they, they make it real difficult uh, cooking. But well, I hope you really can rub easy. off me a little bit because I need some help in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, well, so. you know, I, I'm hanging out with my grandmother all my life. I learned how to cook. And so I, uh, Thanksgiving time, you have the turkey, but Italians like to have a, a little pasta with Yeah, I love so, it. So the lasagna is a great starter course for a turkey dinner. And uh, so what I've done is assembled all the elements to build your uh, lasagna lasagna here. It starts with the red sauce, obviously. Okay. Now, this is a Sunday gravy or a sauce, yeah. which has to be cooked at like a three-hour process with the meatballs and the sausage in it. Right. You take the meatballs and sausage out, and that's how you, that's what you put in your lasagna. And a lot of people have different variations on how to, to kind of assemble the lasagna, right? So you have your own, obviously. Yeah, yeah. so here's how I'm going to assemble mine. Now, the, the, the noodles, first of all, we, we like to coat the bottom of the pan with a little sauce. Okay. So you want to get that in there so it doesn't stick on the bottom. So as yep. long as you got your sauce there you spread that out like mm -hmm. this I'm doing it very quickly here and then it's uh, three layers it's okay. a three layer lasagna so these are noodles now these are box uh, lasagna noodles they work very well they hold up very well in lasagna you can use fresh pasta that, that you either make or get at an Italian specialty store right so it starts out with the three layers like that okay and and then on top of this is your ricotta mixture mm. now this ricotta mixture is that ricotta cheese i wish you could uh, smell this because it smells delicious. eight ounces of uh, mozzarella now if you want to buy the mozzarella in, in this uh, it, it's uh, an eight ounce uh, uh, it, it, it'll it, it's perfect eight ounce mm -hmm. so you don't have to measure anything right but you mix that in with parmesan cheese the mozzarella the, the ricotta uh, fresh parsley it's got to be fresh parsley that's what you can and, smell really. yes it's, and it's if, if you want to put a little uh, garlic powder in here you can do that as well okay and what you do is you just kind of smooth that out here and you said this is a long time family recipe long time right? family recipe that i've cultivated more over the years and added a little twist and mm -hmm. that and and the mozzarella within the ricotta will make you a nice when it melts it makes a nice solid base so there you go you got that covered like like there then you go to the meat now these are the meatballs and sausage ah, that have together. been sliced got up it. and so you can either put it together or do it in different layers but uh i i like to kind of just sprinkle it in there, mm -hmm. and, uh, and once you have that coated with the meat, then you put a little sauce on top of that. So you go okay. back, you go back to the sauce. So a multitude of layers here, yes. obviously. Yes, and you're just layering it up so it doesn't dry out. Mm -hmm. Put that on there like that, and then you're ready for your next layer. Okay. It's as simple as that. And so you get pasta. the noodles. So yep. uh, I'm recommending you make at least nine of these uh, lasagna noodles. Okay. And uh, you do the same thing. It's just a repeat process. You put that lasagna noodle down, and you just repeat the process all over again. So you recommend at least uh, three layers, obviously. That yeah, would be. So three, layers three layers of the pasta. Yeah, but yeah. this is the type of pan that three layers will fit perfectly. Yeah. It'll rise up, and it, it'll look You don't want any more than three layers. Uh, right. it, it's going to be fine. There's going to be enough material in there to make a hearty lasagna. Okay. And so you, so you have just enough. It's two pounds of ricotta cheese to eight ounces of uh, the mozzarella, and uh, you sprinkle in maybe a, a half a cup of uh, grated Romano cheese, Pecorino nice. Romano. It's got to be a good grade of, of cheese. Yeah. And once you got that in there like that. I love you, it. It's a cheese-heavy lasagna. Yeah, you yeah. can do this a little smoother here. Okay. But then you just So as you, as you finish up here, i got to ask you, because mm -hmm. we can't have you here without asking about the Eagles. But, right. Uh, would, you, would you think about four weeks ago that we'd be at this position no. right now? No. And, and if you look at it right now, I can't see where there's any way that they won't be in the playoffs. Yeah. To be they, honest. This is a team that is by far the hottest team in the NFL, right? Yeah. And it's not a great NFL. So they've got a lot of bad teams coming yeah. up that they have to play they should be better than those teams you're looking at a nine win team uh, if they win nine games they're definitely in the playoffs yeah crazy right? yeah so now just this okay let's go let's finish it off with the last, last layer. layer goes on top okay and as you do that I'm gonna reach down and get the uh, your, get, your get, finished, get the product. finished product okay now here's what you want to do you want to make sure the top is coated with all the sauce because you don't want these noodles right. to dry out so you make sure you got a nice, a nice liberal Look at that goodness yeah, this right is there. getting a little sloppy over here but you can see where you can kind of nestle it in and settle it in and square it up a little bit 
and just make sure you cut you cover all the noodles and that is the baked version yeah. which i baked this morning and it really uh, smells a smaller version, so good which you guys can sample after the show yes and uh so there you go now. all right mike and, and where can people go uh to get more information on your menus because obviously I have, I have a they've website. been listening to you for years yes. but now and they can actually go to your website and see what you cook yes yeah, so i'm going to start doing some cooking things so the website is mikemiss.com you can go on there and uh, we're going to be doing some virtual things the point is it doesn't have to be italian you can cook anything if you're a guy anything in my refrigerator i could look at and make something out of it that's awesome that's and, a, and, and that's I, a good and, skill and all to have guys can do the same thing yeah. if they just apply themselves that's a great skill and uh when it's good if it's good you'll be coming back on a regular basis so I, de- I, I hope you know will. that we'll be bringing you, got, well, you back you guys can sample yeah. that I, I brought some plates for you that's so we're fantastic all, good. all right mike thank you so much for being here thanks nick and i uh, have a lot to talk about with the eagles too coming up in the next few weeks yes sir all right up next kelsey fabian getting into the